Hey guys, I got a little question for you. Have you ever dated a girl, but her mom doesn't really want you hanging around her daughter, so you and your little girlfriend brainstorm a few ideas and decide that the best idea is to stab her 26 fucking times? I mean, because that's the obvious solution. <laughs> hey guys, it's Maggle here with another story video, but before I get into that, I just want to thank y'all for the support. I've gained four subs since the last time I was recording a video, and while that's not like a whole lot, that's still a solid four subs. Four more subs than what I had, so uh, I just wanted to thank y'all for that, and uh, I've got another Forge video in the works, and it should be coming out not too long from now, so stay tuned. Anyway, this is the story of my personal experience with a murderer. And I'm not talking about, like, a veteran that served this country that ended up killing somebody in the line of duty. I'm not talking about a drunk driver, shout out to my boy Ethan Couch. And I'm not <laughs> and I'm not talking about somebody who killed somebody on accident. I'm talking about a fucking cold-blooded psychopathic lunatic. That's the kind of murderer I'm talking about here. Anyway, this starts out at Northwest High School. And while while it didn't actually happen at the high school, I just thought it was kind of interesting that a lot of stuff happens at that school. It's home of a couple, uh, more than a couple of memes, but a couple of really popular memes. One of them including Michael, I'm not going to say his last name, but he uh, he's the when you haven't said blah 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 in five minutes meme. I'm sure y'all have seen it, it's gotten really popular lately. And then Lena, who is the overly attached girlfriend. They both came from that school. It's home of the memes and it's also home of a fucking murder pact. Yeah, back in 2008, four kids got together and decided to kill somebody, and I just just might have known one of those kids. So, I come in in about in seventh grade. This is, this is where I come in in the story. Seventh grade, I rode the bus with a group of emo kids. They weren't the only ones on the bus, but there wasn't a lot of people on that bus, and so I sat kind of near them, and I paid attention to a few of the things that they did. I wasn't really like in their business or anything, but I had had conversations with them. And there was this weirdo emo kid named Paul, like just a fucking creep. And like you wouldn't instantly think that he's going to kill somebody. But if you had to like select out of all the kids that would shoot up the school, like he'd probably be like number one or number two on that fucking list. Yeah, so this weird fucking kid named Paul was always saying just some some really some really fucking whack shit. I never really cared to listen to any of it. I didn't pay much attention, but he thought that he was a reincarnated executioner from the 1800s. So, I mean, that's that's perfectly normal, right? I mean, I I think I'm a fucking reincarnated executioner from the 1600s, so 200 years later, comes this guy like makes perfect sense he also legitimately thought that he was a vampire um no no fucking joke he he thought he was a vampire and he would cut himself and drink his own blood <coughs> but not only would he cut himself and drink his own blood like it's not like he was doing this shit at home and like i just heard about it like on the fucking bus. Like, he would cut himself open on the bus and drink his own blood. And a little funny story, a little tangent, is one time he had a mouthful of blood, which is just fucking putrefying. It's so goddamn disgusting. But he had a mouthful of blood and the bus driver hit a bump and that shit splashed out of his mouth onto the seat and the floor. And he didn't clean that shit up. He made the poor bus driver clean that shit up. I think he got in a little bit of trouble for that. But honestly, like, that's probably the least of his worries at this point. So, on with the story. Some fucking how he got a girlfriend. I have no fucking clue how. Like, I can't even get a girlfriend and I'm not a psychopathic murderer, so... Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should kill a few people. That was a joke. Please don't take it seriously. I don't want to be reported to the police. So, his girlfriend was from what seemed to be a pretty normal family. Um, turns out that it, it wasn't. Um, it was like a single mom taking care of two kids, which isn't that out of the ordinary. My mom's a single mom taking care of three kids at the moment. So it's not like that out of the ordinary. 
but um, one day, Paul, his girlfriend, her brother, and some other 14-year-old psycho bitch form a murder pact. And like you'd think of like some middle schoolers and high schoolers forming a murder pact and just like killing toads and frogs and shit. No, 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 these motherfuckers were serious. Like, completely, 100% serious. <coughs> yeah, so I have some close friends. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, me having friends. But I would never kill my mom to help an emo faggot, like, satisfy his bloodlust. I don't know. I don't... I might be just... Maybe I'm a pussy. Maybe... Maybe I'm out of the ordinary for that? I don't know. Just... Maybe I should help kill my mom just to satisfy some bloodlust. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I'm trying not to judge over here. Anyway, this poor woman was a hard-working single mom like mine. She never suspected a thing, and really all she wanted was her daughters to stop hanging out with this scum-of-the-earth piece of shit. And she, like, uh, forbid them from seeing him. Which didn't fucking work, obviously. Instead of getting that, she got four kids pinning her down, torturing her, and stabbing her 26 times before she bled out. What the fuck? This kid that I knew, I rode the bus with him. I had had plenty of conversations with him. This motherfucking kid murdered an innocent woman. Just because he had some fucking weird bloodlust. Some fucking murder fetish. Um, so yeah, she got like completely wrecked. I'm just saying, like between between you and me, next time she should play with bots or, you know, like lower the difficulty. That was fucked up. I'm so sorry. That was mean. I shouldn't be joking about that. But yeah, she got completely destroyed by those kids, which is really fucked up. I shouldn't use video game terms around it. Anyway, shortly afterward, Paul did the world a favor, something he should have done much earlier, and he killed himself. Um, yeah, he, he, he fucking killed himself, which it's nice, but I, I kind of wish that, you know, he, he got stabbed 26 times and tortured, you know. I'd say that would that would bring him to justice, maybe maybe just a little bit. I don't know, but that's just me, you know. So yeah, the oldest, I think the oldest of the girls got prison time, but I don't really know. And fuck if I know what happened to the rest of the group. I don't even really care. But yeah, that's, that's my story about my personal experience with the fucking murderer. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please like it. If you disliked it, fucking dislike it. Leave a comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.